What's up, Walt? Hey, how you doing? Oh, buddy. I know we gave up 19 points last week. I know you were not happy of that. Not happy at all. Not happy at all. But we're gonna we're gonna fix that and make sure that we do it do it. Uh, we're gonna do it right. Did, did you tell, talk to the players and tell them what they need to do? Yes, I did. All right. Yes, I did. All right. I did my part. My name is Mark Gary, and Coach Saban and I will always be best friends. 29 years I've been a big Iron Man fan. Walt is 34 years old, and he is quite a character. He was born with Down syndrome in 1983, and he had a heart issue. And he's had open heart four times. If you ask Walt anything about Down syndrome, he will say, but I have up syndrome. Even when he's sitting up in the hospital bed after he had open heart, he's flirting with the nurses and listening to country music. So he's just always happy, uh, unless Alabama loses a football game. How would you describe yourself? Is it a nice person? Describe him well, I would, I would definitely just say just energetic, really optimistic. And um, this is just a happy, happy guy. He's always smiling, always cheering us up, and making sure we're uh, we're all right. Walt is, you know, high of energy, uh, you know, just spiritful. He, uh, you know, he, he definitely makes you smile whenever you talk to him. And he has a great sense of humor. He's very witty, so he just comes out with something that you're not expecting. Is the key to your locker at work? Yeah, I used to have a locker, but it keeps my. Um, Oh, on my hot tub. Telling stories, That's true. He says that he has about 20 girlfriends. So he always thinks everybody's his girlfriend and everybody's his friend. My favorite part of St. Louis would probably have been probably those wild parties I go to. When Walt was in high school, he was voted uh, most school spirited. You know, he, he's dedicated. He's probably one of our more dedicated fans. It's a it's a championship thing. He's part of this team. You know, he's he's here every week. He shows up. He gives us the scores, encourages us. When he was in the sixth grade, he was having trouble at school because it was a new school to him. I ran into Coach Stallings, who was a friend of my father's, and asked him if I could bring Walt on Thursdays at, to practice. And then I would bribe him during the week and say, if you have a good week at school, you get to go to practice. So we started going to practice on Thursdays 22 years ago. One Thursday when I took Walt to practice, he had heard on TV that they were talking about Derrick Henry possibly being one of the forerunners for the Heisman. So when Derrick comes out, Walt says, here comes the Heisman. And so this was at the beginning of the season and I kept saying, Walt, you cannot talk to Derrick Henry about the Heisman. And so every week, he would say, here comes the Heisman. So then the next week he said, when are you going to New York? So I said, why don't you can't say that? He said, well, I didn't say Heisman. He really helped change my priorities. You know, quickly, things that I thought were important uh, were no longer that important. We've, you know, helped to educate people. Alabama athletics became a big part of Walt's life, really from the beginning. Walt knows a lot of people in Tuscaloosa, so we'll be out in public and somebody will say, hey, Walt, and I'll say, who's that, Walt? And he said, oh, that's so-and-so. So he just knows a lot of people. I like to work at the supply store, and I've been there, uh, been there 21 years. I would tell everybody good morning when they get there to work. Walt's dedication is something that really stands out uh, from everybody else, because he's been there every single Thursday since my freshman year. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's been there a whole lot longer than that. What you got? 35, 10. 35, 10. 10. Uh -huh. Number one. Hey, he's going to be blocked. Be blocked by me. That's the bow. How many y'all? 189. Ooh, that's a lot. I always like to see you smile when they win. Before the team comes out, I'll put my hands like this. I will pray for him. Probably my favorite thing about Walt is he always thinks we're going to win pretty big. He, <laughs> he's got a lot of confidence in us. I'm a big Alabama fan. I, I love road time. I love when Alabama wins a ball game. Be there for, for the players and I coach the staff. 
Brighton's my baby, and I really appreciate him just being there for us. Walt definitely has a place in the community in Tuscaloosa. It has taught us all that we all have differences. And my very best friend is God. God will make sure that I will go to work tomorrow and have a good day to make you smile. My saying is, the quicker, the quicker he smiles, the, the quicker I smile. By having a good day, I'm gonna go have a, a, a good day tomorrow, because it's Friday and I get paid. Having a good attitude is probably the right thing to do, and and your attitude can motivate you to be the uh, the best person you are and the and the best worker you can be. Roll, Taro, and yeah, 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 the man. He's got that electric personality that uh, that you know you don't you don't see too much anymore. And, you know, we're always going to be there for him and he's going to always be here for us.